Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Coach. Hi, RG. Hi, Joanne. Good morning. Daddy A. Hello. Hello. Yan. And we have Alessa. Okay. So, kaunti pa lang. Try natin mag-wait ng mga ilang minuto para sa mga mag-join pa. Kamusta? How is everybody? We have Dom. Sino na dito mga ano, natihan na? Mga nagbabalik loob sa webinar. Lahat kayo, no? May first time ba sa inyo? Ako po, Char. Ito ba, RG? <laughs> Dom? Ako nagbabalik. Ito ba? First time? Lahat kayo mga dating bago. That's good. At least, ba diba? Bumabalik-balik. Okay. Good morning to all. Joanna! Sige, sige. <laughs> Sino yan? RG ba yun? Oh, oh, coach. Suki. Ito ba RG na Suki kita? Ayan. First time po. Ah, yun. Si Whirly. Whirly, first time daw. Alrighty. So, mga 9.05. Tapos, magsistart tayo. Okay. Alam nyo naman kung tungkol sa yung pag-aaralan natin today. Alam nyo ba? Yung kung paano kumita sa Facebook. <laughs> paano kumita sa Facebook? Yun ba yung pag-aaralan? So, Using ad. Aha, uh-huh. using the ano ba yun coach yung ads? Ads ba yun? FB ads? Yeah, we are going to teach you how to do command. Facebook ads using Keller Williams command. Okay. Ah. Hindi man siya really kumita, but for our clients it will help them reach more people. Para, for example, meron silang mga open house or meron silang mga listings. Ayan. So, po pwedeng makareach sila ng madami tao. Okay. One more minute and then we will start. Okay. So, we have Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. Alright. So, mag-start na tayo. It's 9.05. Huwag na natin patagalin. Mabal na lang yung mga gusto ko mabal. Eh na nga, naghahabulan na nga sila. Sabi ko nga. Sige, magsihabol na lang kayo. Pero mag-start na tayo. Okay? So, again guys, um, our lesson for today's will be um, how to use or how to do FB ads using Keller Williams command. Any one of you who are familiar with Keller Williams command already? KW command. Meron ba sa inyong mga may clients na gumagamit ng command? Or wala pa? Wala pa po? Pwede kayo sumagot. You can unmute yourself. Selves. Oo, ang dami. Grabe. Ayun, so, I would assume na wala, kay- wala pa kayong clients na gumagamit ng KW command. Okay? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin for today. Alright? Ayan. Thank you, Whirly. Thank you, Joanna. Okay? So, KW command, guys, this is a software suit, um, suite. Software suite that helps real estate agents to manage nurture and convert real estate leads into customers. So if your clients are under the brokerage of Keller Williams, ayan, meron silang sarili nilang software which is owned by their company. So overall, Keller Williams Command or KW Command helps agent with lead management, marketing automation, track leads through the sales pipeline or funnel, It can also create websites and help set up and run social media campaigns for the real estate business without much access. So, kung ako yung tatanungin ninyo, KW Command actually has everything in it already. So, mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo kanong itsura niya. Okay, so, that is KW Command. Now, 
Ito yung itsura ng homepage ng KW Command and as I have mentioned, ipapakita ko sa inyo mismo yung CRM later para magkaroon kayo ng overview as to what um, lead management systems are. ba diba? Para pag nagkaroon kayo ng client, malay nyo, nasa Keller Williams pala sila, so gumagamit sila ng command. At least you have an idea as to um, what they are talking about kasi nakita nyo na siya dito kay Rep Assist. Ayan? So, ano ba yung mga bagay na po pwede nating magawa gamit yung KW command? So, we have several features for command. First will be the real estate website. So, it is integrated to the MLS wherein po pwede ninyo makita yung mga listings ng client ninyo directly doon. Um, it can create a landing page. It can create customer guides. Yung mga po pwede nating ipamigay or gawing lead magnet. para sa mga clients natin or kapag nagkaroon kayo ng possibility yan in the future kung pwede kayo na mag-send sa kanila welcome packet etc etc so meron na sa KW command yun um, integration with Google Analytics and Facebook it is also connected there and you can also set up appointments using KW command Um, lead management features naman nila is it has adding leads. So, pwede kayong maglagay doon ng leads. Kaya nga, pwede tayong mag-nurture, ba? Diba? So, we can export. For example, umalis na kayo ng KW command and your clients are worried. Paano na yung mga leads ko? Pwede nyo pa rin ma-export yun. Um, you can save searches. Lead pipeline. So, makikita nyo. kung nasa ang stage na ba yung client. Sila ba ay searching? Sila ba ay nakabili na? Sila ba ay under contract na? So, makikita yun doon sa KW command. Talagang makikita ninyo step by step nasa na sa process ng real estate transaction si clients ninyo. Okay? Um... Opportunities, ito yung lead pipeline as well. Tags, filters, and smart views. So, for example, you want to know or get all of the sellers only. Mabilis nyo siyang ma-filter out. Gusto ninyo na it um, buyers lang, mabilis nyo din siya na ma-filter out. So, merong tagging um, features si command. You can also make offers using KW command. Access customer properties. customer guide document management because you can save documents in kw command as well database activity score and database health so madami talagang pwedeng gawin aside from that in communication feature naman pwede kayong mag-create ng automated email texting dialer and kw app so meron talaga siyang phone yung KW command na pwedeng magamit ni clients ninyo yung application na to gamit yung mga cellphone nila. So, alam naman natin lahat guys, di ba, na mga real estate agents or yung mga real estate professional clients natin, they are always on the go. Kaya nga maganda na mag-hire sila ng real estate virtual assistant like you para um, nasan man sila, di ba, merong gumagawa ng mga important tasks sa background. So, tayo yon Tayo yon mismo. Okay? Marketing and campaign features, meron silang smart plan. So this is uh, this is where you are creating automated emails, automated texts, pa pwede yun. Um, pwede din na may reminder for your for your agents to call a certain person. So pwede yun sa Marketing design, meron na rin sila. Um, social media campaigns, ito yung gagawin natin today. Social ads with the videos for listing. Direct, direct mail postcard campaign pwede din. So, limbawa ayaw nila ng social media or digital lang, pwede tayong mag-send ng direct mail postcard using KW command as well. Integrations of CRMs na kung pwede ninyong gamitin aside from KW command ay um, ito yung mga following na yun. So, follow-up, pwede kayong mag-connect ng follow-up boss account ni client sa KW command. Real Geeks, and all of that stuff. Ayan, so, yan yung mga other CRM or softwares that you can integrate with KW command. Alright? Do you have any questions so far? Bago tayo mag-proceed. Nabilis ba? Or ano? Kaya saan tayo yung Kaya naman, Coach. Kaya naman. Maintindihan. 
Hi, Anthony! Tuwing gosh na buhay ka. Si Joanna. Hello. Joanna, okay lang po. O, sino pa? May nabibilisan pa? May question ba? May magulo ba? Sigurado kayo? Going once, going twice. All good? Okay. Alright. So, ayan. So, magtatrabaho na tayo. Ha? Let's get to work. Okay? So, I will go to my client's Keller Williams command. Magla-log out muna ako para talagang from scratch tayo. Okay? So, your clients will be providing you with login information of K- KW command. So, meron silang sariling login nila. Of course, I'm not gonna give you that. So, ito yung itsura niya ng login page. And, uh, magsa-sign in lang kayo. So, once you're signed in, Medyo matagal lang siya, guys. Yun lang yung isa sa ano niya. So, once you're signed in, um, there will be two accounts always. Lalo kung si client ninyo is under ng team. So, meron tayong tinatawag na personal account and meron tayong team account. So, itong account na to, it is um, the team account of my client. Okay? So, Again ha, pag sinabing team, under sila ng isang team ng brokerage. Okay? So, ganun siya. Now, um, this will be the homepage. Makikita niyo madami talaga siyang feature. So, dito pa lang makikita niyo na agad kung alin yung mga feature task. Lalo kung ikaw ay real estate agent, alam mo na ito yung mga tao na kailangan mong tawagan. Ito yung mga recent leads na pumasok. Ito yung mga design updates kasi uh, mismong KW, gumagawa sila ng um, templates that their agents can use. So, merong mga new designs that you can check out and create. Tapos, i-re-rebrand mo na lang yun for your clients just in case they want to use it. Sabi ko kanina, we have database health. So, makikita nyo dito yung health score ng um, database ni client. So, we have 67% nung contacts na meron dito has phone number, 69% yung my email, 31% yung my um, home address, and 71% yung my neighborhood. So, makikita niya talaga siya. Talagang ina-assess siya nung um, application. Alright? Next will be the contacts. Dito yung mga tasks. This is where you can create tasks. This is the smart plan. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina wherein you can create um, series of emails, phone um, phone or text. Pwede kayong mag-create ng automation yung pwede nyo i-create sa smart plan. Referrals, if ever you're um, referred someone or they refer someone, dito nyo makikita yun. Opportunities will be the lead pipeline. So, kung sila ay buyer, nasa na silang stage ng transaction. Dito nyo makikita yun. Campaigns, ito yung pupuntahan natin mamaya. Reports, this is the overall reports. Like, how many leads you have, how many contacts um, have you added ever since na magkaroon ka ng command. Makikita yun doon lahat. Designs, ito yung kanina yung ako na um, may mga bagong designs or may mga bagong marketing materials that were uploaded. Listings. This is where you can find the listings of your clients and consumer. Dito tayo gumagawa ng mga landing pages, etc. etc. So, hindi natin siya papasukin in one day because we only have one hour. And, excuse me, ang main focus natin for today will be the paid ad. So, before you do that, you want to go to your client settings first. And you want to make sure that before you create the campaign is connected yung kanilang Facebook account. So, dito naman nakakonect naman yung sa amin. Okay? So, the Facebook Ads Manager is connected and the Facebook account mismo is connected for post scheduling. Okay, so once you are good with that, you will go to campaign. Sana makaya natin ng isang oras, ano? Oo, oh, oh, ayaw niya na umalis, di ba? Question, sabang nag-aantay tayo? Ayan. Yeah. 
So, nandito tayo sa campaigns ngayon. Okay, so, sa campaigns, meron tayong dashboard, emails, direct mail, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, you can create postcards or social posts. So, if you're going to create a Facebook ads for your client, pag sinabi nila yon, you will go to paid ads. Okay? So, I did this earlier for them. It is for an open house. You will see here as well kung magkano yung nagastos nila and how many leads they were able to get. If we click this, itong lead na to, makikita ninyo yung name and contact information ng lead na na-capture natin from Facebook. Okay, so ganun siya. Now, um, if you're going to start the campaign, you will click the create campaign here. And then, you will do social ad. Social ad is the main person. Okay? So, here, dito, lagi ninyong um, lalagyan ng campaign name. So, the campaign name will always be the address of the property. So, dito, lalagyan ko na lang siya ng duplicate kasi meron na akong ganun. Okay? So, lagyan natin ng duplicate. And then, what is your goal? So, if gagawa tayo ng open houses, sino bang ina-attract natin sa open house, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, we are attracting buyers, okay? So, best practice will be to attract buyers, okay? And then, saan mo gustong i-run yung campaign? It will always be Facebook ads. Not unless your clients would want you to run it in Instagram or Twitter, but for our webinar today, we are going to focus on Excuse me, Facebook ads, okay? And then after that, you will click create campaign. Abilis ba? Okay, okay pa naman. Nakaka-follow. Okay pa po. Okay pa po. Alright, so again, we're done with the name and the goal. Okay, next will be to add your listing. So, dito po pwede nyo siyang search by property address, which is nandiyan na siya. But just to make sure, kailangan yung listing agent ay yung listing yung client ninyo. Okay? So, pwede kayong mag-search prop by property address, by MLS number, or by listing agent. Okay? So, click nyo lang siya. Select nyo lang. And then, once that appears, makikita nyo dito yung preview ng ads na ginagawa ninyo. Okay? So, this is what what it will look like on web, this is what it will look like on mobile. And, Coach, pwede din ba yan sa FB gawin? Pwede siyang gawin sa FB, pero medyo different yung UI or user interface ng face. Okay? Pero sige, gagawa natin ng webinar din yan para alam ninyo kung paano gumawa ng FB na mag CFB mismo. Okay, so... Once we are done with the name and the goal, na i-attach na natin yung listing. As I have mentioned earlier, meron siyang MLS integration. So, ito ay connected na sa MLS. Okay? Next, yung gagawin natin is yung text or yung copy or yung caption. Okay? Na mas kilala natin sa caption. So, yung main copy, normally this will be provided by your clients already. Okay? So, this will be the good things about the property. So, ayan siya. And, dito siya makikita. The headline will be here. So, normally, it will be the address of the property. Okay? So, lalabas siya dyan. Ayan. Okay? And then, the next thing will be the description. The description, guys, again, normally, the clients are the ones um doing the description and then sinisend nila, na lang nila sa inyo. Kasi syempre, sila yung nakapunta dun sa property. Sila yung mas nakakaalam ng neighborhood. Ano ba namang malay natin and tayo sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, most of the time, they are the ones giving it to you. But if not, there is also a way for you to create your own description gamit yung mga pictures ng property na yon, i-research nyo yung neighborhood, ano ba yung mga malalapit na, for example, hospital, park, ito, quarry park, di ba? So, yun yung po, pwede kayong gumawa din ng description of your own. But, always remember that it has to be approved by your client before publishing the campaign. Okay? Kasi baka mamaya, nag-publish kayo, tapos wrong grammar, magagalit si client natin. 
Okay? So, once that is done, click save. Next will be the media. Pwede kayong mag-change or mag-add ng picture. It really depends on you. Or kung meron kayong video, okay din naman na mag-add. Um, pero ako, gagamitin ko na lang kung ano yung nasa picture ng MLS. Di na ako maglalagay. Okay? So, pag clinic nyo yung add more, ayan, lalabas siya. Tapos pipili lang kayo kung anong mga gusto nyo. So, for example, eto gusto ko ilagay or yung um, kitchen. Ayan, pwede. So, depende siya sa inyo. So, ayan, preview and crop. Um, ayan. Ayan siya. So, parang ganyan yung magiging itsura niya, guys. Ito kasi, pag ano siya, pag gumawa kayo ng ganitong um, madami, para siyang i... para siyang um, gagawing test ni YouTube, ni YouTube tuloy, ni Facebook na titignan niya kung halimbawa, itong ad na to yung madaming views, or itong ad na, na to yung madaming views, yun yung ipupush niya sa algorithm. Ganun siya, okay? So, maganda din na mag-create kayo ng more pictures to add. Okay? So, DBA logo will always be there. So, wag niyo siyang tatanggalin. Include my ownership statement. Ito yun, yung ownership statement. Each office makikita nyo din yan dyan. Okay? And then, after that, click apply lang. Save. Facebook settings. So, dito na siya. So, this will be um, under my client's account, of course. And then, yung page kung saan mo gustong i-post ito. Next will be sa destination. So, dito guys, laging ang pipiliin ninyo or ang um, recommended is Facebook lead generation form instead of site or landing page. Bakit po, coach? Kasi po, um, tamad ang tao. So, ang Facebook, alam niya nila kung ano ang email ng client ninyo. Alam na nila kung ano ang phone number ni client ninyo. Alam na nila ang first name and last name ng client ninyo. So, the Facebook lead generation form is already pre-filled. Okay? So, naka-fill up na siya. Hindi natatama rin yung client ninyo na mag-fill up anymore. And that's the more reason na i-click na lang nila yung submit and maka-capture natin yung information ng lead. Okay? So, it doesn't mean naman na na-capture natin, e seller na yon agad. But, there is um, a big possibility na warm siya or, alam mo yun, parang hindi siya ganun ka-cold kasi nag-show siya ng interest sa listing ng client niyo. Okay? So, it's always gonna be Facebook lead generation form. And then, for the learn more, learn more button is okay lang din. Sorry. Learn more learn more bot button is okay lang din. And then, this is gonna be your client's um, website URL. Okay? So, kung ano yung URL ni client thing. Or, pwede din na gagawa kayo ng landing page. Kasi pwede kayong mag-create ng landing page dito. So, dito na lang. Example na lang muna natin tong agent site. Okay? Or, provided contains error. Bakit error? Wow! Pumili lang ako ha. Pero ito, KW app to. Laging yung ano ha, yung um, website ni client tapos yung mismong information about the property. Yun yung pipiliin ninyo. Okay? Kasi kapag hindi yun yung, halimbawa, clinic ni client yung learn more, tapos hindi naman yun yung property na tinignan nila or 
pinuntan nyo lang sila sa website pero hindi dun sa mismong information ng property na tinitignan nila, mawawalan sila ng gana kasi hahanap na naman sila. Magsusearch pa sila sa website ni client niyo, ba? Diba? So, as much as possible, direct them to the information of the property that they are looking for. Okay? Any questions about that? Hanapin ko lang yung ano. Yung listing mismo. Question ko. Go! Um, Salamat so, naman may nagtano. Charat, ano yan? <laughs> uh, kasi, ano, my past client, eh, nagagamit kami ng KW command. Hmm. And so, um, uh, if you would put the address in that ano magja-generate na ba agad yun ng mga pictures from from that specific listing yes especially uh, if meron na siyang picture sa MLS ah okay okay kasi pag wala siyang picture sa MLS uh, hindi ko magja-generate okay oh, kasi active na yung listing niya di ba Exactly. Sa ano na no, sa <laughs> sana all sa yung client na yung mag-provide ng captions kasi ako noon my god. <laughs> Nasisira pa yung utak ko kung ano yung captions nila. Thank you coach. Thank you po. No well, uh, no problem. Pero alam mo ma- meron na akong isang technique diyan. Sige, gawin na natin ang webinar kung paano kayo makakapag-create ng caption for MLS kasi isa din yan sa magagandang um, skills na meron kayo as a real estate agent. Yes, so thank you so much. Thank you, Antoinette. Okay, so dial John. Yeah, so nakatakan na siya. This is my client's um website. Okay, so makikita niyo. This is directly to the Levison Way, de ba? So kung ikaw yung tumitingin ng ads at ito yung makikita mo pag click mo ng learn more, mas magiging interested ka na basahin, right? Compared to pag dinerecho nyo lang siya sa copy muna natin to. Pag dinerecho nyo lang siya dito sa homepage ni client, halimbawa nilagay nyo sa learn more, tapos ito lang yung nakalagay, tatama rin ka, ba? Diba? Mawawala ka na kasi alam mo naman na yung ads is yung about sa Levison, pero ito lang yung... Right? So, mas maganda na yung ilalagay ninyo... Um, URL is directly for the Levison um, yung property mismo. Okay? Ayan. Now, once that is done, the next thing will be yung audience. Okay? So, you have your auto audience, custom audience, or saved audience. Okay? So, depende sa client nyo to kung saang area ba yung target nila. And dito, um, how many radius or miles yung gusto ninyo na i-target. So, sa amin laging 20 mile radius yung gusto namin na i-target na tao. And makikita nyo din dito, okay, how many people yung potential reach natin. Okay? So, makikita nyo siya saan. Kung tataasan ninyo yung mile radius, tataas din siya. Ayan, 1.1 million na siya. Okay? So, ganyan siya. So, pwede din kayong mag-custom audience. Ayan. If you want to target your client's database, you can do so. Pwede kayong maglagay ng interest dito. So, for example, yung mga tao na interested sa Zillow. Siyempre naman, ba? Diba? So, Zillow property. Okay. Pwedeng red pin. Kasi, syempre, nagtitingin sila niya ng property. So, possibly, nagtingin na rin sila sa Zillow and Redfield. Wala. Okay? Or realtor.com. Yun. So, ito. Save. So, makikita ninyo, bumaba yung audience natin. 235. Okay? So, if you're okay with this already or your clients are okay with this, click save lang. And then, after that is, manage na natin yung settings ng leads. So, once we gather the information of the leads, papasok siya automatically 
sa database ni client, which is itong KW command. So, dito siya mapupunta sa contacts, guys. Now, pag napunta siya sa contacts, ano ba yung gusto natin na mangyari? Kaya, so, makikita niya dito sa lead routing, um, lagay natin open house. And then, gusto natin meron tayong automatic tag. So, mapupunta dyan is open house tag. Pwedeng buyer kasi at ang in natin kanina is buyer. Okay? So, kung sellers naman yung ina-attract ninyo, then kiklik nyo lang din or isa-search nyo lang is sellers. Okay? So, pwedeng ganun. Right? And then, you want to have a smart plan available for all of your leads. Okay? So, bakit gusto natin ng ganun? Kasi we want to nurture them hindi lang na basta makapture natin yung information nila, but at the same time, we want to cater them as to what are the things that they are looking for if they are trying to buy the property or possibly magsisell para sila ng property. So, we want our agents to be able to nurture these leads. And we can do that here in Smart Plans. Again, these are automated follow-up calls, texts, or emails. So, Meron tayong iba't ibang smart plan, merong Facebook lead na text, merong Facebook lead na emails, gusto natin yung tatlo. Okay, so eto meron naman tong nakalagay na mismo sa command ng client ninyo, pero maganda na i um i-copy paste niyo siya sa Google Docs tapos ipa-check niyo kay client ninyo. Ito pa yung eto ba yung gusto mo na maging strategy natin? para ma-nurture yung client mo or may gusto ka pa bang idagdag. Okay? Um, let's talk about smart plan next time kasi medyo, medyo it's a different type of ano naman, scenario. So, pag-usapan natin yun sa susunod. Okay? So, once you're done with the lead settings, click save lang. The last thing will be the budget. The budget will be provided to you by your clients via text, via call, via your Zoom, weekly check-in with them. So, depende sa kanila. Um, normally, clients are very gahol. So, kung meron kayong mga clients dati, minsan magsisend yan sa inyo, bukas open house na. So, hindi na kayo makakapag-Facebook ads, di ba? Sayang naman yung isang araw. Okay, so... Ideally, or the best practice is to market the property for at least 10 days. And normally, the clients will be providing you with $100. So, it's $20 or $10 per day. Okay, so, ganyan siya. Or, pwede din namang $50. Okay, so, makikita ninyo mag-change naman yan. Ayan, 5 per channel. So, ganyan siya. 5 per day per channel. Okay? So, depende yun sa client ninyo. And then, click save lang kapag okay na lahat. Alright? So, ganyan yung magiging itsura niya ng carousel. Ah! Ayan. This is the web. This is the mobile. Okay? So, ganyan yung itsura niyan. And again, yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Um, Facebook algorithm, sila na mismo yung mag uh, ano yan, mag mag distribute niyan sa Facebook users. So, alin man dyan sa tatlo yung pinakamaganda yung response ng tao, yun yung ipupush ni Facebook sa algorithm. Kaya tapos sila na din yung mag-manage ng budgeting ninyo and how many days it will be pushed in the algorithm. Now, before publishing this, you want your clients to check it first. So, syempre, you have to click save draft muna bago ang lahat para they can check first if the name is okay, the copy or the captions are okay, etc., etc. Okay? So, after that, alright. So, pagkatapos ng lahat, is save draft nyo siya. Okay? Once you click save draft, makikita nyo dyan na nakadrop siya dito. So, kung in-approve naman ni client, i- balik tayo doon. Click edit campaign lang. Halimbawa, approve na siya ni client. Hindi ko siya ipapublish ha. So, kapag approve na siya ni client, click lang yung publish campaign. And then, yung nakita nyo kanina na pending, 
ibig sabihin nga re-review siya ni Command before na ilagay sa Facebook. So, kap- normally, it will take 24 hours or minsan less bago maging active. So, halimbawa ngayon to ginawa, bukas or mamaya, active na tong listing na to. Okay? So, ganun yung nangyayari. Alright? Um, another thing is, halimbawa, meron na kayong um, ganito, meron na kayong client na gumagawa ng paid ads sa command, the easiest will be to just duplicate the campaign. Okay? So, para konti na lang yung changes na gagawin ninyo kasi duplicated na siya from the previous campaign that you did for your client. Especially if meron kayong campaign na nag-run ng magandang results. So, pwedeng i-duplicate nyo na lang din yung campaign na yun. Okay? So, that is that. Any questions? question ba kayo? Coach, you don't use hashtag po ba? Um, for listings, I don't. Kasi this is um, ads and for my clients, I don't. Pero for services, I do. Sa, sa Facebook ads and you know, um, for my own business, I do. Sino yung nagtanong nun? Gusto ko yun. Ang ganda ng tanong. Ako, ang tanong. <laughs> Sa situation ng client ninyo, if they want to use hashtags or not. Yeah. Thanks, Antoinette. So, yon. Any other question, guys? Nang araw po, Coach. Ten? Nang araw mag-aral ng ads na. So, dun sa ginawa natin kanina, it will run for 10 days. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Um, uh, yung KW command coach is same ba yun sa Podio? Hindi. Um, Podio is more on pang generate din siya ng lead pero almost the same. I think wala lang atang design for Podio. Meron ba? Yeah, ko sure. Sorry. <laughs> Pero nag, nagmamanage din kayo or nagnanurture din kayo ng leads sa podio. So, it's almost the same. Alright. Sino yun? Parang bagong boses yun. Sino yun? Sino yun nagsalita? Pakilala ka sa amin. Nala na wala tuloy. Okay. Si, ano pa? Any other question? Coach, chika mo po yung captions, how to generate captions, kasi ano talaga, <laughs> kaka-stress. Alright, sige, mag, mag-chika tayo nun. Pero before that, just a um, few things to remember in creating an FB ads campaign in KW Command. Make sure you have Facebook business page connected to your Keller Williams Command first and foremost. Connect your Facebook page into your client's command account. Make sure you have smart plans in place, okay? Because we don't want to gather leads and not nurture them. Parang kinuha mo lang yung information tapos wala na. Ayaw naman natin yun, okay? And then that will be the start of you creating a social ad campaign for your clients. In creating social ad campaign, you have to remember to name the campaign. It's going to be the address, mas maganda na address para kung tatanungin kayo ng reports about a certain address, it will be easier for you to find it in their command account. And then you have to determine the goal if you are attracting buyers, attracting sellers, etc. Location of where you will run your campaign, your ad post copy or your um, caption. You have to add media or you can just integrate their MLS listings. Ensure that your settings are all set up, especially on Facebook settings and lead settings. And you have to ensure your duration and budget are approved. Okay, so important is you have to do not publish a campaign without your ad agent's approval. Okay? Sure kayo, wala na question? Coach, last question po. Go. Um, kasi meron naman talagang listings na nagbebenta agad, di ba? Hmm. And general, I, I mean, we, we always use like 10 days na 
uh, Facebook uh, ads. What if po nabenta po siya earlier? How would you stop that from paying? You can. So, p- pwede tayong uh, punta tayo doon. So, for example, this one is active, di ba? So, dito po pwede mong i-post yung campaign. Yes. Yeah, so, if you want to stop the campaign, you can just click post. Alright? Okay po. Thank you po. Alright. Any other question? Um, recorded naman po ito sa yung channel, Coach. Yes. Thanks. At, <laughs> si N at her pala yun. Okay. Meron pa ba? So, paano ako nag, nag-generate ng caption? So, normally, the clients will be providing you with pictures. Or if not pictures, then your clients will be um, giving you the address. So, pwede kayong mag-search sa Google nung address. And then, tignan ninyo yung past, um, yung past MLS description. So, it will help you one, pero hindi mo yun gustong kopyahin. Okay? So, pwede kayong mag-search sa Google and at the same time, check ninyo yung picture. Okay? So, ano bang meron sa um, bahay na to? Ano yung maganda sa bahay na to? ba diba? So, pwede um, huge, spacious living room with cozy um, isip kayo ng mga adjectives ba tawag ko? na makakapag-describe sa property. And when describing a home, isipin nyo para kayong nag-virtual tour. So, the description will be from the front door, of course. Kung paano ka papasok, ano yung mga first room na papasukin mo. Hindi yung parang pupunta ka sa garage, tapos biglang nasa kitchen, tapos biglang nasa bathroom, tapos biglang nasa bedroom, nasa living room. Diba? Parang pangit yung ganun, sabog-sabog. Mas maganda na parang yung siyang kinakwento. Okay? So, ano yung una mong makikita, ba diba? So, um, alimbawa, um, namapag-isip ng ano, adjective, Antoinette at maaga. <laughs> uh, ano ba magandang description? Uh, a two-story two um oasis in the beautiful neighborhood of Rocklin. Yung parang ganun, o diba, in, in on the spot nyo ako yung sasabi ko sa inyo. Uh, a beautiful two-story house um, in, and then, a two-story house in a beautiful oasis of Rocklin, California um, will welcome you. Ganyan yan eh. Pag tinignan nyo dito sa baba, ayan o. Oh, welcome to your new home. Ito kasi yung kay client ko to eh. Pero kung ikaw yung gagawa ng description and there's plenty of space for everyone to spread out and relax. The open concept floor plan makes it easy to entertain guests and the chef in your family will love the gourmet kitchen. Ito dapat, ano nyo to, research nyo to. Siyempre, hindi naman natin alam yung gourmet kitchen. We don't even know what sports countertops are. ba diba? So, itong mga to, dapat nire-research nyo siya or mismong tinatanong niyo sa mga agents ninyo. Okay? So, titignan nyo lang yung picture and again, if you're creating description, yun yung isa sa mga tip ko. Gawin nyo siyang parang virtual tour. So, mag-start kayo from the very labas, papasok, paikot ng bahay. Okay? Kaya ba yun? Okay na bang tip yun? <laughs> yes po. Ah, uh, additional lang po kasi yung client ko noon very particular siya into captions. Kasi um there are words na hindi mo dapat gamitin. I don't know if meron ba doon 'yan sa mga ibang clients pero sa client ko parang dapat merong ibang words na hindi mo gamitin like family or dad or something. Yeah be careful. Dapat ag- approve ni client yung captions in every uh, ads na ipopost. Oh, that one is exactly talaga. Totoo yun. Pero, depende naman kasi siya sa client. I think it's my first time hearing ng ganon. Hindi nagsasabi nung um, mga ganong words. Pero, 
iba-iba talaga siya. Depende sa client mo. Minsan pa nga, ayaw nila ng, alibawa sa cold calling ha, ayaw nila na itatanong mo yung, or sasabihin mo yung word na house. Kasi parang, uh, home, sorry, hindi home. Are you are you selling your home? Ayaw nila nun. Kasi home is family daw, and house is the property. So, meron ako naging client na ganun. Pero dad or family, hindi ko pa naman siya natatry. Pero at least, we all know na meron tayong, meron palang mga ganong clients. Totoo po yan sa cold calling. Ayun. Yun, naranasan ko yun sa cold call. Ayaw niya na, ano, na itatanong sa property na, uh, property owner if they are trying to sell their home. Okay, thank you for that, Antoinette. Any other question, guys? Wala na, sure na yan? Kailan susunod na, ano, coach? Makakatulog na kayo bukas. <laughs> And I joke na. Kailan niya susunod na webinar? Yan, maganda yung tanong na yan. Okay, so, bagong lahat, ayan. Diba? So, who wants to attend our next webinar? Sino? Taas pa ah. Me. TC. Me. <laughs> TC na agad. Grabe <laughs> naman. So, sorry guys, we, we follow a team for our Friday weekly webinar. So, next week, try natin mag-bring ng virtual friend, okay? So, mag-ano tayo? Bring a virtual friend challenge, okay? And then, introduce your virtual friend next week since magiging regular na natin siya. Okay? So, Um, did you find value in our discussion? Meron ba? Yes po. Hindi ko nga na yung tingin mo pinagsasabi mo eh. Charat. Kaya so next Friday guys, same time, 9am to 10am. Ito kasi madalas na request sa akin to. Ano ba mga task ng real estate VA? General real estate VA. So yun yung discussion natin next week, Friday. Again, bring a virtual friend, okay? And of course, kung may mga kaibigan pa kayo na gustong mag-enroll, hanggang November 31st na lang yung ating promo. So, please invite them and share our Telegram account para makita din nila yung marketing calendar natin. Okay? Alright. Uh, coach, sorry hmm. po. So, pwede pong mag-invite doon sa mismong Telegram. Mag-add ako ng mga friends even though Pwede, pwede. Sige po, sige po. Or, yung general natin, pwedeng-pwede kayong mag-invite. Okay? Ay, po, po, po. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you, guys. See you next Friday. Bye. Salamat, Salamat po.